Pata CEO highlights its recent initiatives. Pata recently launched a recovery dashboard. And while most of this now is green and open and for each of these countries week to week, as Pata, what we're trying to do is leverage all of our channels to keep the industry um, and consumers informed on the status of different destinations and, um, and new products. Pata has launched tourism destination resilience training um, to make our um, government members more aware of what, what do they need to develop in terms of capacity building, in terms of um, risk mitigation, um, in order to avoid you know, crises, in, in, even beyond health and safety. Nepal retrieved its 2019 visitor numbers. I am delighted to share with you that we are now back to receiving tourists as in the pre-pandemic time. Arrivals from January to March this year have achieved same as of 2019, which clearly shows we are gaining travelers' confidence at a steady rate. With ease in entry protocols, that fully vaccinated travelers are granted on arrival visa without extra documentation. This is definitely one of the leading factor for our prompt surge in international arrivals. Marriott International shares its expansion strategy. We have signed a lot of hotels uh, even during the COVID and we have some great uh, footprints of our brands coming into South Asia. Um, it's a mixture of both uh, city hotels as well as uh, resorts. So a lot coming our way um, in, in uh, that sphere. There's a lot of expansion happening in tier two and tier three cities and um, also in resorts. As far as ADRs and occupancies are concerned, we have already breached the uh, 2019 ADR levels uh, by a good margin. And uh, similarly with occupancy, so business is back in full.